Turning now to the extreme weather we've been experiencing this winter, which has really been a tale of two coasts, warm and dry in the east, cold and snowy in the west. Who better to explain that than the person who actually knows what she's talking about with weather? Dylan. Yeah, could it be more opposite than where what? it was last yeah. year? It's a total role reversal here. And while the unseasonably warm weather takes its toll on slopes in the northeast, skiers out west are getting an early Christmas present, with some resorts getting 24 inches of fresh powder in 24 hours. Remember last winter? It was one for the record books. By this time last year, Buffalo was already buried under snow. Up to six feet of snow fell in parts of western New York, most of that falling in just a 24-hour period. New England, three feet. It's not just me. Even hardy New Englanders are saying this snowstorm hit way too early, and they're right. Throughout the Northeast, ski resorts opened ahead of schedule. The Midwest in a deep freeze. This is day two of the snow and ice here in Forest Lake, Minnesota. Fast forward to this year, it's like weather whiplash. Buffalo hasn't even seen a trace, breaking a 116-year-old record for lack of snow this late in the season. Temperatures across the eastern two-thirds of the country well above average. Ski resorts seem green and not the good kind. We really need the temperatures to change or at least become more, a little more seasonal so that we can get uh, a product out and get the facility open. You know it's bad when even I'm anxious for the snow and cold. I've got a closet full of winter coats and it's too warm to wear them. <sighs> While on the west coast, it's a completely different story. Last year, folks were begging for snow. We've been praying for snow. It's the strangest season that I've ever experienced. Look at all the dirt on the slopes, and there are hardly any skiers. And now, so much powder, it's like white gold. I think it's like over 60 inches already at Mammoth, which is uh, about a third of the amount that we had all of last year. So, you know, if we keep up this momentum, you know, we're looking at an amazing season. Oh, we could definitely use some snow on the East Coast. You say that now, but be careful what you wish for. So everyone wants to know, are we going to get slammed in January and February? Yeah. I mean, January and February always kind of, you know, it's aren't, winter. Aren't great. It it's winter. Like Let's be honest. We're going to get a few storms, but it's not really going to be all that bad through the rest of December. I'll take it. For the it. West Coast, they'll continue in the pattern they're in. For us, we'll continue in our pattern. And then as we go into, I think, the end of January, February is when we'll start to see a pattern shift and get but, a few storms. But by the end of the week, we can exactly. see spring. Spring is in sight. I know. Yeah. Last, last year, I was traveling for about five months of just brutal. being out in the snow. I've already checked off two months now, so yes, I can nice. handle three months, No right? one's happier about this month winter than Dylan Drive. <laughs>